हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन विथ डीसी मोटर्स आई होप वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड लास्ट टू लेक्चर्स वी हैव कंटिन्यूड विथ न्यूमेरिकल्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू विथ द सेम एंड देन विल सी द ओनली टू न्यूमेरिकल्स आर लेफ्ट सो दिस टू न्यूमेरिकल्स विल सॉल्व फर्स्ट एंड देन विल गो फॉर Uh, characteristics of um, all these three types of motors series shunt and compound motor okay so this is the numerical uh, a 460 volt dc series motor runs at uh, 500 rpm taking a current of 40 amperes so v is equal to 460 volt then n1 is uh, given as 500 rpm IA1 is given as uh, IA1 is equal to IAC1 is equal to 40 ampere as it is a series motor. Then uh, calculate the speed of uh, um, speed and percentage change in uh, torque if the load is reduced so that the motor is taking 30 amperes. So IA2 is equal to ISE2. It is given as 30 ampere. and uh, for this we need to find the uh, speed n2 and uh, percentage change in torque uh, that we need to find okay and uh, the total resistance of armature and field circuit is 0.8 ohm that is ra plus rse it is given as 0.8 ohm and uh, assuming flux to be proportional to Uh, field current that is phi is proportional to i s e it is given okay so we'll tackle the problem by starting writing the given data so v is equal to 460 volt n1 is equal to 500 rpm i a1 is equal to i s e1 is equal to 40 ampere i a2 is equal to i s e2 is equal to 30 ampere r a plus r s e is equal to 0.8 ohm phi is proportional to i s e n2 and percentage change in torque we need to find so we know that torque is proportional to phi into ia and phi is uh, proportional to iac it is given okay so torque will be directly proportional to ise into ia okay now if we we'll, uh, write the uh, various torque equations in this that is t1 Is equal to I S E one into I A one. T two is proportional to I S E two into I A two, and take the ratio of T one and T two, so that you will get that T one upon T two. It is equal to I S E one I A one divided by I S E two I A two. Substitute the values. Forty into forty divided by thirty into thirty. It is equal to 1.77. So T1 by T2 is equal to 1.77. That means T2 is equal to T1 upon 1.77. That is 0.6 T1. Now percentage change in torque that we can calculate by uh, T1 minus T2 upon T1 into 100. That will be the percentage change in torque. So substitute the value of T2 as 0.56 T1. So T1 minus 0.56 T1. Upon T1 into 100, that is coming to be 43.75 percent. So this is the reduction in torque. So torque reduction will be 43.75 percent. Okay. Now we know that EB1 voltage equation. EB1 is equal to V minus IA1 into RA plus RAC at IA1, that is 40 ampere. we can calculate this substituting values we can calculate eb1 so v is 460 ia1 as 40 ra plus rac as 0.8 so eb1 is coming out as 428 volts but eb2 now uh, eb2 also we can find in the uh, using the same uh, equation uh, at ia2 which is equal to 30 right Uh, so eb2 is equal to v minus ia2 into ra plus rac that is 460 minus ia2 is now 30 into 0.8 so it comes out to be 436 volts 
but we know that n is proportional to e b upon phi and the phi is proportional to i s c which is given so uh, n is proportional to e b upon i s c now we can write various values of n for um, various values of e b and i s c as n1 proportional to e b1 upon i s c1 n2 proportional to e b2 upon i s c2 now take a ratio of n1 and n2 to get n1 upon n2 is equal to e b1 by i s c1 divided by e b2 upon i s c2 and after simplification you will get that n1 upon n2 is equal to e b1 upon e b2 and into i s c2 upon i s c1 substituting the values only n2 is unknown n1 is 500 n2 unknown e b1 and e b2 as 428 and 436 i s c1 and i s c2 they are 40 and 30 so after substituting this you can find the value of n2 it is equal to 679.13 rpm i hope you understood this numerical let's move to the last numerical of uh, this part a 250 volt shunt motor on no load runs at 1000 rpm and takes 5 ampere the given data is v is equal to 250 then uh, n nl that is 1000 rpm and i l nl that is 5 ampere the total armature and shunt field resistance is uh, 0.2 and 250 ohm respectively that is ra is 0.2 and r s h is 250 calculate the speed when loaded and taking current of 50 ampere that is i l 1 is 50 and at that point you want to find n 1 and if armature reaction um, uh, weakens the field by uh, 3% so your fields phi 1 and phi n l they are related by a reduction of 3% So phi one is equal to point ninety seven into phi n l. Okay. So we'll tackle this problem by writing given data. V is two fifty and n l is thousand. I l is five. R a is point two. R s is two fifty. And we need to find n one at I l one as fifty and phi one as relation between phi one and phi n l as phi one is equal to point nine seven phi n l. Now as it is a shunt motor. We'll first find out the uh, ISH. So ISH equal to V upon RSH. That is 250 by 250, 1 ampere. So as uh, ISH is constant, uh, now we we'll find out IANL, <coughs> which is equal to ILNL minus ISH. So 5 minus 1, that is 4 ampere. So EB at NL, no load the battery NL. That is equal to from voltage equation we can calculate it as V minus I A N L into R A. So 250 minus 4 into 0.2 that comes out to be 249.2 volts. And when it is loaded, I L one is given as 50 ampere. I S H is constant at 1 ampere. So we can find out from this uh, I A one as I L one minus I S H that is equal to 50 minus 1 that is 49 ampere. So I A one is forty nine ampere. Now for this I A one, you find out E B one. So E B one is equal to from voltage equation. E B one is equal to V minus I A one into R A. I A one is now forty nine ampere. V is same, R A is same. So E B one it comes out to be two hundred and forty point two. Now we know that as n is directly proportional to E B by phi. And uh, we can write various equations. N N L is equal to E B N L by phi N L. N one is proportional to E B one by phi one. Or you can write even in terms of N one N two and so on. And taking the ratio N N L by N one, it is equal to E B N L by E B one uh, into phi one by phi N L. You substitute the relation between phi one and phi n l. It is equal to 0.97, and uh, E B one n l and E B one to 49.2 and to 40.2. So 
uh, n n l is thousand n one is unknown. So after simplifying this, you will get the value of n one as nine hundred ninety three point seven rpm. Okay. So in this way, we have completed the uh, numericals uh, of uh, this. Uh,